Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be filming a reading for the Arcturian Star Seeds. So let's see what comes through for the Arcturians. I'm going to start by pulling from The Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Aaron Reed. Hope everyone's doing really well today. message has just been coming through more and more. So much having to do with time, the essence of time, what it stands for, what it means, cultivating patience. knowing <gasps> oh my gosh yes peace has been coming through a lot cultivating peace with your co-creations oh my gosh <laughs> time for a nap time for a nap these cards like it's like my being is here like which is just like a higher aspect of me but my one of my main guides is Arcturian he, he's my main guide his name is Yunu and it's I literally feel like he's here just like plucking out the cards for me so I'm not surprised why they're just flying out like this yeah <laughs> okay Okay. Wow. Very interesting. The clarifiers, like the clarifiers, just knew when to come out and what to be um, from the hidden worlds um, by Lucy Cavendish. not you guys look at the bottom of the deck the relics of Lemuria this is fragrance memory and reclaiming god Lemuria like open like the lotus <laughs> I can't breathe right now and it's funny because we got breathe in the reverse <laughs> but I literally I'm trying to like if you guys have seen Indigo Angel's video, she literally talks about this lotus, the open like the lotus, the unfolding, the flowering spirit, revelation, maturity. I love that. And then we have light dancer and <laughs> yes, okay. So, oh, we have full moon temple, okay. We have so much here, so many amazing potent energies. I'm starting backwards and working my way forwards and this is kind of what they want you to cultivate. Arcturians, you have this amazing way of cultivating things outside of the box from the normal ways of them being interpreted or done or seen or heard, and they're wanting you to do this. So it's almost like we're taking the energies of our past, but not our past, like ancient past, Lemuria, hidden worlds, hidden secrets, hidden wisdom. And we're starting there. And we're bringing it here now. At the same time, simultaneously, we're understanding that we're from the future, co-creating here and now, but also that the past that we supposedly have already experienced is kind of like the future that we're going into, which is why it's so important to read about ancient knowledge, ancient wisdom because it's almost a facet of knowing that that's the future that we're going into, if that makes 
any sense at all. I hope I explained that right, but I feel from spirit that I did. Um, you'll get it <laughs> if you're Arcturian. If you're here, you're definitely Arcturian and you get it. Um, yes, so it's like this uh, ever unfolding knowledge, this ever unfolding growth, this ever unfolding revelations, aha moments, realizations, maturity, like you're really maturing spiritually. Um, yes, and you're uncovering all these ancient secrets, this ancient knowledge, this ancient knowing. This is the unknown, the mysteries, the wonders, but it's like we're relearning this. It's embedded in our blueprint. We're relearning it. We have Light Dancer. I love this because if you don't know me personally, I love to dance. I dance all the time. I dance really good sometimes. Sometimes I dance like an absolute fool. But no matter how I'm dancing or when I'm dancing or where I'm dancing, I'm always emitting my light and I'm setting that as my number one intention. Illumination, the radiant self, shining soul. So really radiating your light, understanding that you're the essence of the cosmos and shining that through here and now. And then we also have, um, yeah, see with this, the relics of Lemuria, these are fragments. This is memory. This is reclaiming your past, which is simultaneously your future. Okay? And you're like culminating the two timelines together here and now. Is the message I'm getting. And you're reclaiming these memories because these are your memories. There's a reason why you're remembering them. They're being unlocked within your blueprint. They're being recalled. There's so much supposedly holding us back from remembering, but... How can you forget who you are in your true nature? You never can. So you'll always be remembering. Always. <laughs> always. You've already done it. And we have the full moon temple. The full moon temple. And I think we're going into a full moon. Is it October 2nd? Um, keep that in mind, guys. This is a time for celebration. And I actually got this message in the last reading. I believe it was a Syrian reading. So if you're drawn to that, check it out. Um, celebration, this is a peak. This is a transcendent moment. October 2nd is gonna be huge, guys. Or whenever the next full moon's coming, I think it's the beginning of October. So keep an eye out for that and do some ritual work where um, you're creating a nice temple for yourself you're creating a nice space for yourself, doing some sort of like full moon ritual to welcome in these like high frequency energies, these unlockings, these rememberings, these knowings. And write down everything that you're grateful for and really celebrate yourself. You guys deserve celebrating. Every single one of you. Every single one of you. No matter what you've done, no matter who you are, you deserve celebrating. So really celebrate yourself. Huge message. Um, because that will really set forth in motion the energies that we're about to go into or have already done, <laughs> right? So a leg up and we have the hanged man. So it's so funny because we have a leg up and if you look at him upside down, his leg is up. <laughs> so you're really getting a leg up in a situation where you felt supposedly stuck or that there was no motion or no movement, suddenly you're receiving all these like co-creation ideas, um, these deep knowings of peace that are simultaneously going towards something that you're going to bring forth into manifestation. They're wanting you to really breathe through these ideas when it comes to your manifestations with the Page of Pentacles. There's definitely a beautiful project that you have an idea of what you're creating here. And this is a message I've been getting for a lot of the star systems. And so as a collective, we're going through a lot of stuff. Um, but you have this deep knowing that this is all occurring because this is something you've already done. And this is why you have the deep knowing of it. Um, <laughs> the never ending story. <laughs> Nothing ever ends, right? It just keeps growing and going and going and... They're wanting you to look to your inner waters because there is where the memory lies, 
look to yourself because ultimately that is your higher ET family. It's all within you. And yeah, there's definitely something that you're co-creating here. They're also wanting you to, as a collective also, we are mending, mending this um, notion that someone has to be the guru. Like you are all your own guru. So this is something that we're deprogramming, something that we're mending. It's a beautiful change of peace coming in, of um, these fragments that we have taken outside of ourselves and placed in outside things. They're all culminating back, back into us. And we are having this awakening that this is our truth. It is all our truth. And it's the culmination of all of it. So that's what I'm getting for you, Arcturians. Definitely go towards what it is that you've been wanting to create. Also, know that you're a treasure to be cherished. Don't ever doubt yourself. And if you're feeling low energy or low frequency, they want you to get out in the sun, channel in this gold, because this is essentially what you are. You are the sun. You are the gold. You are the activator. They activated the activation in and of itself. So... I love you Arcturians. I really hope this helped you. If you're interested in um, a Celestite healing, I actually just made a new Celestite light language healing, heart healing. And I really just feel like this would be something that you guys will want to take advantage of. It's like a very fair price right now too. So definitely keep that in mind. It's very powerful. And this is what the Arcturians were wanting me to tell you, specifically this group. So um, the details for that will be in the description box below under my Etsy shop. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to message me or email me or DM me on Instagram. I love you all so incredibly much. Arcturians are so multifaceted and so intriguing and so unique and so awesome. And I love you all so much. Thank you so much for tuning in, for watching, for liking, subscribing, commenting. And until next time, I will talk to you soon. Bye now.